I'll show you right now how to find other Shopify stores selling the identical product you want to sell and copy your product pages based on that. Let's check it out. Hey Dropouts and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. If you are new here, my name is Matthew. I make daily Shopify videos, giving you guys course level content for absolutely free. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and leave me a comment letting me know how the video was, if you enjoyed it, how I can improve and what you want to see in the future. And just to give you guys a little bit of extra incentive, I also give away a 15 minute consulting call to one of the people who do those three things things every single video and as always the winners announced at the very beginning in my little introduction so go ahead and rewind if you skipped it and see if you won from last week's video now a couple days ago one of my subscribers have actually asked me how to go ahead and find inspiration for their product pages and how to find Shopify stores selling identical products which we can you know copy product pages of because I always say there's no need to reinvent the wheel you can just copy off of somebody else or at least get inspiration from them so I'm gonna show you guys that method right now I haven't seen this one on YouTube but anyway let's do it let's hop on my computer and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so first of all let me show you guys the product I'm talking about here it is right here oops all right so this is a product I found on Aliexpress that's really nice and that I think would do absolutely killer on Shopify so what I wanted to do was find a way to find a product page for it so what I did was I just head on over to Google images so let me let me actually redo this so we're gonna upload this image and what I like to do after I'm done uploading it is I'll delete what Google automatically puts and I'll write Shopify. So now we can scroll down and we can see, as you can see, a bunch of stores selling this. So let's go here. Let's go here. All right, these are all stores and we can see the numbers, the cost, their codes. So we know these are Shopify stores. So let's keep going. Man, it keeps going. Live Smile, Yo-Yo Cloth. Nina Betty so it's on a few different product pages. So just be careful because, you know, if, it, if the image appears in the related picture, stuff like that, well, it'll still pop up. But here it is. That's how I like to do it. And we can just get an idea of how people are selling them. So this one, for example, is selling for $35, $5 off code, right? So they're upselling people. They're trying to get people to buy more products. They have the specifications here. They have this right over here to the sizing chart. And that's really it. So this is a very basic product page. Uh, doesn't really need to be changed, but it's definitely a little bit basic, but that's fine. We got this website right here and I think, and they're selling it as well for $33. So a little bit kind of undercutting the competitor there. Pretty smart idea. But you know, it's literally almost identical here. Pictures are identical, not much in terms of writing, shipping times. Oh, that's pretty quick shipping. I'm surprised. So that's good for them, but, uh, Oh, but five to seven business days of processing time. Gotcha. So we can also take a look at Yo-Yo Cloth, right? Who's selling the exact same thing right there for 51.33 CAD. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It hasn't converted yet. They also have the exact same product page. Absolutely no difference. But really, that's just how you can get ideas for different products. If you want to sell a product, you can go ahead and do that. And from this point on, we can actually turn this into a product research strategy. We've now found, you know, four or five new stores that we haven't seen before, which we can just go back down to their Facebook pages and take a look at what they're actually selling right now. So with Yo-Yo Cloth, and again, I haven't seen their store yet, right? They're, they're going to go ahead and try to sell this guy right here. And it's a very nice, it's a, it's a really nice sweater slash jacket. I really like it. And, you know, they're still selling it, these overcoats. So clearly these are popular products, right? This one looks sick and that's a really, really, really cool GIF that they have uploaded there. I really like it. And yeah, guys, that's that's essentially the product research method. I know it was a quick video, but that's how it is, guys. I wanted to show you very quick, very straightforward, no bullshit, no filler. This is exactly what I would do if I'm looking for somewhere to get inspiration from. I just go ahead and copy the picture right from AliExpress. And I'd write Shopify because chances are people are using the default pictures. Nobody's really paying for their own pictures. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please leave a like, leave a comment. It means so much to me, helps my channel grow. And 
yeah, I appreciate the fuck out of it. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. So if you enjoyed it, do those three things. You can win a chance to win a mentorship call. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.